today's video I'm going to continue the tutorials with the pass-through API experimental version that is available for Oculus. In the previous video I showed you how to set it up with Unity. We went through and changed a lot of settings in order for us to make it work and many of you told me that you got it to work so that's really really exciting news. If you didn't get it to work make sure that you check out my project in GitHub which is going to be available in the description of this video. So what I'm going to be doing today is we're going to be focusing on looking at a component that is called the OVR pass-through layer. This is what's going to allow us to either render the pass-through layer behind the objects, in front of the objects. I'm also going to show you how to apply different styles. So if you wanted to change the color of the edges, basically the color of the pass-through layer, you can do that. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. This thing is it's really cool because it allows you to toggle the pass-through layer on and off. So if you press the A button, basically the pass-through layer is going to be visible. If you press it again, it's going to do a toggle so it'll turn it off. And you can also use the thumbstick to either from the left or right to basically change the opacity of it. So just a couple of things to keep in mind. If you want to know how to set up pass-through from the very beginning, make sure that you watch the previous video. And I also included the link in the description as well as the GitHub project that you can use to get going. So a couple options on the OVR pass-through layer. If you don't see these, all you have to do is just basically add it. And you can just say OVR pass-through and you're going to be able to add it just like that. Once you have added it, you're going to have different options in here. One of them is going to be the projection surface. This is really cool because it allows you to determine, okay, do I want to have the pass-through layer on the entire screen or do I want to have it on a specific surface? The specific surface is really helpful because if you want it, let's say that you had a desk and you wanted to see, you want to see through your desk in the digital world, then you can basically create a planner and then have that be a user-defined projection surface. In our case here, we're going to be projecting to the entire screen, which is going to be the entire layer. You also have different options in here for compositing. So there's two different options. One of them is underlay and one of them is overlay. Overlay is going to be on top of every single scene object. So think of it as a layer in a Photoshop application where if you have multiple layers, the layers that are going to be rendered up front are going to be the later layers. So in this case, it's the same thing. If we have overlay, what's going to happen is the pass-through layer is going to be rendering on top of the scene objects. And if we had the underlay, the pass-through layer is going to be behind the scene objects. And that's really helpful. And I'm going to show you how that looks with a couple of videos that I took. The other option that we also have in here is composition depth. And this is really helpful because let's say that you want to have multiple pass-through layers and on different objects, you can also change the depth depending on what sorting order you want them. And then the other thing is going to be the opacity, which is going to be what we are doing here with the thumbstick. If you want to have 80% opacity, meaning that the pass-through is going to be visible at, at least 80%, which is going to be an alpha value, then you can set it to that. If you don't want to have it visible, you can set it to zero. If you want to have it all the way visible, you can set it to one. I'm just going to change it back to 0.8, which is 80%. We also have edge rendering options, and this is going to allow you to, let's say that you had, you know, you wanted to see a different color on the on the edges, on anything that gets rendered. You can change it, and I think I did, I did green on the one that I'm going to show you. And then all you have to do is just enable it. And then you also have, by default, it's going to be set to none, but if you want to have custom colors, you can change either the color and map contrast, which right now I have it set to, I think I set it to a higher number when I was doing the demo. You can also change the brightness, the posterized value, and also the colorized value. This one is a gradient, so you can go in here and change it if I want to do, I think I did a cyberpunk kind of a style before, and I selected that, and it looked really, really cool. I'm also going to show you a couple different demos. So I talked to you about the overlay and underlay. So let's look at the overlay and see how that it's going to look. If you look at this, you're going to see that it has kind of like this uh, purple, light purple color. And this one is the overlay. So everything, the whole layer, it's rendering on top of the 3D scene objects. So, and I'm also changing the opacity because I am adjusting the thumbstick. So the objects don't look as, as basically, the, it doesn't really have that sort of a depth as it's going to look when we do the underlay. So you can kind of see how that works. I'm also basically toggling the pass-through layer and that's why it goes black and then it goes to that purple light color. Let's go ahead and take a look at the underlay. You're going to see on the underlay the 3D objects are more visible, right? And that's because the pass-through layer is behind the scene objects. 
And then things just look better this way than they look when you're doing the overlay because obviously things are covering the 3D objects. And I'm also, you know, toggling the actual pass-through layer. And here I'm just moving back a little bit so that I can see everything. And yeah, we have a color, a controller flying over there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the color map. So color map, again, let me go ahead and pause it. It's going to be this area right here that we're going to be able to control the color of the pass-through layer. And this one, I think it looks really cool. It just gives you kind of like a cyberpunk. And I also wanted to show you that my hands are rendering. And then, well, it's basically getting my hands from the real physical world. And then, you know, changing the color, the blue color that we had, the red color that we had. And then in here, I'm also doing the, the actual uh, underlay so that we have everything, you know, the 3D objects render be before the actual pasture layer. So on the edges, and I'm gonna pass it, I did a green color and that's why you can see kind of like these green lines in here. We also see the cyberpunk color on all the other objects and also obviously the, the 3D objects are rendered in front of the pasture. Kind of seeing here and just moving around and then just walking. I just wanted, wanted you to see the guardian and then also my hand, you know, and the controller rendering. This script right here is the one that is assigned to the experience. And the first thing that it has is the OVR pass-through layer. This script is going to be one of the most useful scripts and it's basically what's doing the, the pass-through to that specific layer. We have a couple options in here, which we saw on the editor. And then we also have options in here if you wanted to add a surface geometry, if you wanted to remove a surface geometry, which we're not gonna be using, but in, in no, at least not right now in this video. You can also change the texture opacity. This is really, what we're using on this video to be able to change the the value the alpha value of the texture and then you know a couple more options in here to set the color and so on so if we go back in here there's going to be you know we're going to be getting the ovr camera rig and then with the ovr camera rig we can get the pass through layer and then this is just basically just capturing the the button a on the on the controller and then it's just doing a toggle just changing the value of the pass through layer to hidden and then doing an auto operator, right? So if it's visible, it's going to be invisible. And if it's invisible, it's going to be visible. And then here we're just getting the value of the thumbstick and then just changing the, the actual brightness of the, oh, I thought we were applying the alpha value. Actually, I think we are. I think I just make some changes in here. Okay, so that te yeah, texture opacity is what we're changing. I'm just getting the value of the thumbstick and then just applying a little formula in here to be able to change that opacity. So that's how this works. Obviously, there's a lot of things that we can do with this. This is a very basic example, but the main thing it's going to be the, the OVR pasture layer and then just getting familiar with that script because there's going to be a lot of good coding here that you can use to basically change the style of the actual pasture layer. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys today. If you guys have any other questions about this, please let me know and make sure that you check out the GitHub repo and then don't forget to subscribe to the channel because that's going to help me in bringing you a lot more videos thank you guys